Good morning, everybody. It's May 22nd, 2022, and it's an overcast, and it's supposed to be raining pretty heavy today, so I figured I'd do a modification day today. So we're going to modify a guitar that I bought on Facebook. Let me show you what we got. A really cool hand-painted guitar that was passed down to a woman by her mother, who mother who painted it, and she was going to give it to her daughter, but her daughter just didn't want to play, wasn't into guitar. So she put it on Facebook, uh, where I'd seen it for quite a while. She was located near Panama City Beach. It was probably about an hour and a half away from me, about two hours away from me. And you know what? I decided, after looking at it over and over again, I decided I wanted to have it. And here it is. It's pretty cool. It, turned, it is a really nice guitar. It's a Strat, a uh, um, Squire Strat. One second, let me get this case out of the way. It's a Squire Strat guitar and it has been, like I said, hand painted by her mother. And I think it is really cool. Saw it on Facebook a while ago and uh, really I, I love the, the paint. I love the, uh, the patina. I mean, it's not perfect. This purple paint, but it looks like it's uh, turned a little bit. Same thing on the back, um, pack, paint at the back of the neck. But it looks pretty cool. It's definitely a square. It's good quality. I've already done a basic setup on it and it sets up fine the intonation. But I decided I want to modify it. So what I'm going to do, my usual style, you know how like when I, I've said before in videos that the strats that I get, you know, when I play Stratocasters, for some reason the, the style of playing that I do, the metal and the kind of style I play, I'm constantly nudging the volume knob and I'm always turning the volume knob down inadvertently when I'm playing so I was always turn it back up so I was like the single single humbucker configuration with the one volume knob for strats in general as you can see I've done that to quite a few of the strats that I own I probably own about 25 30 stratocasters so I had this laying around from before I was using this on the Dribble project but um the neck that I wanted um, has been delayed, so I'm going to have to reorder it. So I figured I'd use this now, and I painted this uh, pickup uh, housing for the Pac-Man guitar, but I'm waiting on the neck for that because I'm getting ready to do the Pac-Man guitar too. So I figured I'd use this. It's been curing now for a week, and I found a really good pickup that I put, I'm going to put in here. It's 16 ohm, 16, so it's pretty hot. It's a hot pickup and it's passive. At first I was going to put an EMG in here, but I decided, you know, yellow, it's pretty cool. Doesn't really match 100% exactly, but it's really close. So it's pretty cool. And I've got this yellow paint that I can always touch up, but I do like the fact that it's not perfect. And you see how the screws were painted and everything like that? I'm going to use the same screws. I'm just going to modify this. I'm going to add that. We're going to go with a single pedometer the volume knob and everything like that and I'll probably put my name on the headstock logo of course but let me show you more on this guitar the neck was painted the headstock and if you happen to be watching me you know the person I picked this up for uh, she's a really nice person really nice lady met her over in uh, in the beach area over there and it was pretty cool before I went to the striper concert so yeah this is a really cool guitar so all right, and I'm gonna modify it and I'm gonna take everybody along for every step. I'll show you the steps. Uh, first step is gonna be dismantling, disassembling. I'll probably have to do the fret work. I'm sure there's never been fret work done, so I'll do round the fret end. I get the fret end files and I'll round the frets. Then I'll level, crown, and polish the frets. And hopefully when I tape this off, I don't pull any of the paint that was on there off. And I like the fact that it's it's just not uniform at all. It's very it's it's cool. It's hand painted. It's very it's very Destin. You know, it's very seaside. It's got the pastel colors. I mean, it's awesome. So, and I'm gonna replace it with the the pickup here and with the yellow pickup, and it's gonna look really cool and sound really cool. All right, like I said, the first step is gonna be to disassemble it. Take off the electronics. We'll do the fret work first. I'm gonna do the fret work and then I'll do all that and we'll see you the next step. It's gonna be awesome. Alright, got the strings off and got a lot of the screws out of there. Alright, we'll do the fret work. I'll make sure the the neck is nice and level. I'll get out my neck leveling file, of course. Make 
sure, check the front end, see how they need to do, and then tape it up, and then we'll start doing some of the leveling, crowning, and polishing. All right, we'll see you in a sec. All right, all the frets have been taped off, and I've already uh, done all the leveling, so all the frets are nice and level. Now I'm going to remark them with a the marker and put a crown on them, and we'll be right back. All right, see you in a sec. All right, all the frets got a nice crown on there, actually. Alright, now I'll take my selected sort of tan paper and get around this to them and polish them real good. Alright, we'll see in a bit. Alright, all the frets have been uh, leveled, crowned, and polished, and they look pretty awesome. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is take off the tape and clean it up a little bit, and I'll be right back. Alright, just a quick change in plan. Had a catastrophic event happen. Uh, when I was taking the tape off after I did the uh, the fret work, all the paint started peeling off. And when I peeled it off, it just got worse and worse. So, change in plan. Uh, this guitar is actually going to become a... this neck anyway. I took the neck and the body, separated them. Uh, on this neck, I'm uh, plugging the fender style tuner holes. And we're going to put regular black tuners in there. And actually, I'm going to... I'm going to tape off all the frets and I'm going to completely paint this neck completely black. And this is going to go on a black body that I have and we're actually going to do a Striper themed guitar. I recently saw the band Striper in concert where I, if you've seen my post earlier, I got a Bible and a pick from Oz Fox which is really cool. I got the Bible from the bass player. Well he threw it out in the crowd and anyway, he didn't give it to me personally. Anything. And it's a Bible, but it's Striper Bible. And they inspired me to do a Striper type guitar. So this guitar is going to be painted black and uh, yellow. If this first I'm going to paint it completely black, and the body's already completely black. Uh, let me show you that real quick. Pardon the camera angle. Yeah. I don't know if you recall from an earlier video or not, but I received this body. I bought this body and it had a separate neck on it at a local pawn shop for $60. And it's in really good shape. I didn't know $50 actually. I paid $50 with tax. And it's in good shape. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to alter the pickguard. Put in an active pickup single, or not an active passive, but a real hot passive single coil. And then just one volume knob, and we're gonna do the paint job like uh, Striper. We're gonna black and yellow, so it's gonna be very cool based off his black V guitar. So, just wanted to catch you up on that. And uh, yeah, so this neck is gonna go on that body. I already checked the fit and everything, and it's gonna be perfect. But first step is to fill the, the holes for the fender style tuners, like I said. I'm going to sand that smooth and then I'm going to tape up all the individual frets. This would have been a really cool guitar. I bought it on Facebook and the lady was really awesome. But the paint just started peeling off and there's nothing I could do about it. This is actually stripped. I stripped all the paint off, even all the paint off the frets. It was a long process. It took me near a whole day. Um, yeah, and I tried to sand it smooth. So it was a really good paint job, but it was just crumbling and it wouldn't have lasted and there would have been nothing I could have done to protect it or saved it. If I put lacquer over it, it would just look terrible and it would have felt just really bad. So, uh, oh, when, when one door closes, another opens. So this is a new project. It's going to be the Striper Strat guitar. Never seen them do a Strat guitar before. I've seen plenty of Strat style guitars, but not with a Strat pick guard and everything like that. There's the pick guard and there's the pick I'm going to use yellow pickup and then a single humbucker with the volume so that'd be cool all right so let me uh, sand that off uh, these you know this should dry put some body filler in there and then tape up all the frets and then we're gonna paint this uh, shiny black today and today is the 24th it's about two o'clock in the afternoon started a little bit late today uh, but I got my hanger so let me get all this going and we'll see you inside all right got taped up Red's tape. That almost looks like a Joker neck, doesn't it? <laughs> the purple and the yellow. Batman the Joker neck. It's going to turn all black. Yeah, I'm going to paint this all gloss black. Hopefully it goes well. So, we'll take this outside and put a few coats on it. Fingers crossed everything goes well. 
But yeah, it's going to turn to the Striper Stratocaster neck. Alright, we'll see you in a sec. And then when I actually do the yellow, I'm going to do the yellow stripes. I'm going to do black and let this cure for about a week. And then I'm going to tape off where the black is going to stay. And then I'm going to paint yellow in the not taped off parts. Because all the fretboard is going to be black. But it's going to be striped. Uh, the front of the head side is going to be black. But then I'm going to put square inlays, you know, where they should go. And with the line going, two lines, sl small lines I'll tape off. So that'll be yellow on the frets. So it'll be pretty cool. Hopefully it'll work out cool like I think it will. But all right, we'll see you next step. All right, see you in a minute. All right, quick update. Looking pretty good. I got a couple layers of black on there. And it is looking awesome. Yeah, no more yellow and purple, but you know it is what it is. Like I said, one door closes, another door opens. It's gonna be cool as a striper, striper strat guitar. All right, put a couple more coats, and then before I take it in, I'll take off the tape over the frets, and we should be good to go. All right, we'll see you in a little. While. All right, another quick update. I put a few more coats on there. It's looking good. I pulled the tape off. And that how that this is how that is done. And it turned out for us. So I'll put this in on the hanger and let it cure for a week or so. And then we'll start with the yellow paint on the fret and around. The yellow and black attack striper strat guitar neck is got the black paint on now. That's pretty good. And as you may have recall, if you didn't recall, I've seen the prior video or the videos when I was going to make this the guitar that I was, it was initially meant to be, I already did all the fret work. So I leveled the crown and polished the frets and the fret ends. So all that's already completed. So that's a good thing. So there we go. All right. And we'll see you soon on the next step on this build. All right. Talk to you in a little bit. Hey, how's everybody doing today? Not too bad myself. Okay, it's the first day at work on the Striper Stratocaster guitar. And this is the body I'm going to use. And I got this body from a pawn shop with the neck. I'm going to use the neck somewhere else. The body's in really good shape. Uh, I don't think I recalled any uh, dents or blings. There might be like a small scratch here and there, but the body's fine just the way it is. And what my plan for this body is, I'm going to paint it like the Striper, uh, Michael Sweet from Striper. I'm going to paint it like his V. So I'm going to do a similar paint job. I'm going to remove, I'm going to still use black hardware, one uh, volume, black volume knob. And I bought a pick guard that I'm going to use. Let me show you that. This is the pick guard I'm going to use. It's a flat black. It's not glossy. It's flat. But it has the humbucker and the one volume knob. And what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna use one EMG with the, uh, I've got this cover right here that I painted the yellow paint. So I'm gonna use that for the EMG, and it's gonna be an active, uh, active EMG. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is, well, I'm gonna, I've got the neck over there from another guitar. I don't know if you recall, I already painted it black. I'll show you that again. But um, use all black hardware. And I'm going to uh, install a 9 volt battery input right back here. Okay, and then what I'm and then what I'm going to ultimately do, like I said, is I'm going to paint the guitar like this right here. Uh, let me get my mouse, and I'm going to try to imitate his V guitar, but and I'm going to do the neck as well. The neck is going to be like that too. The striper. So the yellow, so it's already black, so I'm just going to tape off where the black's going to stay and then paint yellow. So, but once before I get to the painting step, I'm going to, like I said, first step's going to be to dismantle everything, take everything apart, and then install the 9 volt battery input in the back, and then prep it for paint. Alright, we'll see you in the next step. Michael, I'll call it the Michael Suite of Striper Stratocaster guitar build. Alright, we'll see you in a sec. All right, got everything dismantled. Guitar body's looking pretty good. And I can't find any dings or any imperfections, so this would be perfect. Um, all right, so next step is to get my 9-volt battery um, input, and I'll 
line that up to where I'm going to cut it out. I'll be right back. Alright, from the inside I marked out where I'm going to put my 9 volt battery compartment. And it's going to be right there. And then hopefully it won't interfere. Let me check, make sure it doesn't interfere with the actual... I'll be right back. One second. Alright, determined that it doesn't interfere at all with the new pick card or the volume knob would be. It's going to be right there. And you'll see that when I mark the holes from where it's going to go on the other side, of course. It's going to go right there and it's going to have plenty of room for the new volume knob. It's not going to interfere. That's going to be somewhat in this region. So it's going to be perfect. So, alright. So, I've got my drill out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two pilot holes just to know where I'm at and then I'll draw it out in the back and we'll see you next step. Alright, got it marked out where my in, my 9 volt battery compartment is going to go. It's going to go right there. And now what I'll do is I'll get my X-Acto blade and I'll score it out. This wood seems actually kind of thin so it shouldn't be too bad to uh, cut it out and get it all lined up. Alright, we'll see you in a second. Alright, successfully installed the 9 volt battery input. That's nice. All right, so now I'm gonna figure out exactly. I'm gonna tape. We'll clean it up, and then we're gonna tape up where exactly uh, where I tape up is gonna stay black, and then paint the yellow where it's not taped up. So I gotta figure all that out. All right, we'll be right back. All right, and a quick update on the Michael Sweet Striper Stratocaster guitar. That's <laughs> tongue twister, huh? Okay, I just wiped it off with uh, lens cleaner. Wiped off the body. Now I'm gonna figure out exactly where everything's gonna go. I'm gonna base it just like on that. So, all right, let me lay down some couple lines and we'll see in a sec. <laughs> all right, real quick, I got the top side, what I think I'm gonna want as far as the taping goes. Wherever the tape's gonna be is the black is still gonna be present. Um, and, you know, likewise, wherever the tape isn't, it's gonna be yellow. So, uh, looks pretty good. I think I'm digging it. This up here is a little, you know, kind of, I'm not sure, like on the top there, he didn't, they didn't go all the way through on that one, but I'm not too sure. It still might be pretty cool just to have the black there with the yellow, kind of give it a little bit of contour, but yeah. Alright, so let me work on the sides and then around to the back and see what we come up with. This is going to be very interesting. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, just a quick update. I think I've got it taped off the way I like it. Uh, not a hundred percent sure, but you know, what are you going to do? You just kind of roll with what you do. Seems how this is the first time doing something like this, and it's, you know, it's art, so it's not like it. But I did kind of loosely go by the uh, pictures that I found online for his V guitar, so I think it'd be pretty cool spots taped off uh, Michael Sweet guitar uh, kind of similar to I guess Eddie Van Halen the way he would tape off his guitars but, uh, this is going to be gold or uh, yellow and black so I think it'll turn out pretty cool so alright so let me put this on a hanger and then we'll apply some paint <laughs> fingers crossed and see how it goes alright let's see a little bit Quick update, got it on the hanger. We're ready to spray on some yellow paint. And it's looking pretty cool. I'm gonna go over all the little spots, make sure there's no dust. And then we'll put a coat or two of yellow on there and we'll see how it looks. Michael Sweet Striper Strat Guitar Build. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, it's time to take the paper off. <laughs> I got my mask on. All right, we'll see you in a sec. Uh, all right, just a quick update on the Michael Sweet uh, Striper Stratocaster guitar. I think it turned out pretty cool. I'm gonna lose, getting ready to lose sunlight, so I hope it's not too dark. But uh, yeah, not not too bad. I mean, there's there's a whole lot of spot, spaces that I'm gonna have to fix. What well, I'll just do once it dries, I'll just go through with the Exacto and I'll get the line straight, perfect. But uh, yeah, overall, I mean, I think it turned out pretty cool. I mean, considering 
I mean, this is a secondhand body and just plain black and it's boring, but now it's it's got the striper vibe. Yeah, <laughs> the strat. But yeah, I think it uh, it looks way better this way. I mean, I, I'm pleased with the way it turned out. Like I said, there's there's some touching up to do and fixing this, that, and the other. And on these older bodies, I did notice there's a uh, just a uh, paint crack, you know, from when the you know the the neck pocket, you know, those happen quite a bit on the older guitars. This body's probably I'm not sure where this body is. It's an Epiphone body, but or not even Epiphone. I don't even know what it is. I think it was an off-brand body, but yeah. When I paint up the neck too, it'll it'll look pretty cool. So just want to get a losing sunlight. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. I mean, it it's a strat body, and it's gonna like a, you know, like you already know, it's gonna have the uh, the matte strat pickup pick guard on there with the single humbucker, all black hardware. But yeah, I think it turned out in general. I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, once I fix all the uh, imperfections as far as the yellow, I can go through and put on a, a 2K clear gloss clear coat, but it may not be necessary. I mean, just for the guitar in general, yellow and black attack, but it looks pretty cool. All right, we'll see you next step. Uh, I'm gonna let this put this on a hang, you know, hang this for a while, let the paint fully cure, and then uh, we'll start to correct the lines or whatever, whatnot, and then uh, work on the neck and such. And there was a hair of a drip on the right. I can't remember, I think it was this thin. Yeah, there was like a little bit of a drip starting to form in this general area, but I don't think it's really extremely noticeable. And it's on the bottom. Just me trying to be perfect, but. All right, uh, we'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, just a final update on today's work. Here's the neck. And the neck I'll tape off and paint the same way. Uh, but really, I'll do it in a really cool way. I'm gonna leave like one strip there and then I'm going to paint the block inlay on the fretboard just like the guitar that I, you know, it, the block inlay with the two lines going diagonally through it on, you know, the first, third, fifth, twelfth, you know, tw you know, all that stuff. And then I'm going to leave, like I said, leave that like this far and then I'm going to do the yellow stripes on the neck accordingly in the back and then leave the front of the neck, uh, black and then put my logo in yellow in the appropriate spot but i just wanted to do it real quick the uh show the light is it really shows it off in here really cool uh yeah check that out ah, i think it turned out pretty good actually i mean i'm surprised uh i didn't think it was gonna turn out that good but yeah the michael sweet stratocaster and when it has the pick art on there, it's going to look really cool. And all black hardware and everything like that. And the pickup, one pickup is going to be yellow. So EMG active pickup. So I'm going to paint yellow. And then I'm going to put the EMG logo in black on the pickup itself. So yeah, that's, uh, that's really cool. And of course, we're waiting on the Ghostbusters to cure. But yeah. And the neck... Um, this is the neck from before that I just painted. I think I painted it like two days ago, completely black. It was actually purple and, uh, yellow. So I'll do all that. And then on the front, like I said, I'm gonna have the block inlay, but yeah, we'll get to that. But alrighty then. So we'll let these ones cure, but it looks pretty cool. That pattern on the Strat does, does really... Really turned out awesome but all right everybody has a good night we'll see you soon yeah now i got the yellow hand i had the red hand with the ghostbuster not yellow hand. all right we'll see you later hey how's everybody doing june 2nd 2022 about 3 31 p.m and i'm working on the michael sweet striper electric guitar build and i just cut out my logo on clear uh clear transfer paper as you can see right there and it's done and what I'm gonna do uh, 
I'm gonna tape off. All right, I'm gonna do the neck. I'm gonna work on the neck today, and I'm gonna do it in two stages. I'm going to make. I'm going to tape off for the fret markers, which is gonna be a square with two lines going through it on the first, third, fifth, seventh, you know, twelfth, all that. And then for the headstock, I'm gonna use my headstock logo, like this one here, on the Billy Joe Armstrong blue guitar, and I'm gonna do that in yellow paint. So. What I'm going to do is I transferred on the transfer tape, I cut out the logo and I'm going to put the logo on here, you know, with the negative taken out of it, you know, the parts, and then I'm going to spray paint it and then I should have a yellow logo with the, uh, the registered trademark symbol. So I just like that and tape that up and then tape everything up. So getting this ready and hopefully it'll go well and I'll see you in the next step. Okay, see you in a sec. Uh, I had another quick update working on the taping. As you can see, I've got the 1st, 3rd, 5th, 7th, 9th, 12th, 15th, 17th, and 19th, and 20th, 21st fret taped off, and the block inlay. <laughs> like my, uh, and now I'm going to do the headstock logo, and we'll see how it goes. Make sure everything's pressed down. And then we'll try to get some yellow paint, and we'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, another quick update on the Michael Sweet Striper guitar build. They got the neck taped up for the first phase, just the fretboard and the logo. Let's see if I can get it. This go. Yeah, light. See that? All right. And I'm gonna go try to put some paint on there. Wish me luck. All right, we'll see you after it's over. Hey, how's everybody doing? Okay, another quick update on the Michael Sweet Stratocaster guitar. I think it turned out really good, actually. I mean, there's there's a lot of spaces I gotta touch up, but good thing with black being in the background um, is I can touch all this up with, you know, black and make it perfect. So, I mean, it may look a little fuzzy in the lines. The tape, you know, kind of gave way in certain spots, of course, but... I could always touch that up and make it razor sharp perfect so and the logo <laughs> that's cool so i'll let this dry completely and then i'll touch it up with with black paint and like i said straighten the lines and make them perfect same thing with the body so just wanted to show you all right so i'm gonna let this dry for probably about four days or so and then once i straighten well actually what i'll do i'll tape you know for four days, then I'll tape up the fretboard to about a centimeter, like, you know, I said before. And then I'll make the stripes on the back of the neck. So, but I had to do it in two stages because I couldn't have done it all at the same time because of the tape situation. But yeah, looks pretty cool. <laughs> My little sweet strat. So, that's what I was going for. Huh? Could have been sharper on the lines, but you know. I could work with this. This is not a bad thing at all. So, all right, and this will conclude the today's progress on this guitar today, because I'm gonna let this dry. All right, and we'll see y'all soon. Hope everybody has a good night. Talk to you soon. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing on this fine Saturday morning? It is time to continue on the Michael Sweet electric guitar. As you may recall on the earlier video, I finished the yellow paint on the fretboard and on the headstock, and it's looking pretty awesome. And I still gotta do the touch-ups, of course, but I was gonna wait until all the paint's done. So, now what we're gonna do today is we're gonna tape it up and we're going to do that on the back of the fretboard, or the back of the neck. That way it matches everything. So, got these online, dhgate.com, where you can buy a replica of his V. But I thought that would look really cool with that pattern right there. So, okay, let me start taping it up and we'll see you in a little bit. All right. All right, another quick update. I got the fretboard. Like I said, I wanted to make it look like it was the actual fretboard. I know it's all one black color. And the headstock tape off. And I got a little bit of uh, on the headstock. A little bit overlap, you know, on the sides. Just to make it look like it's like a little bit of a black binding effect. All right, got that taped up real good. Now what I'm going to do is turn it over. And now I'm going to try to plot out that on there. So I'm going to tape off the bits that I want to keep the black and then leave the exposed parts for the yellow so when I go to spray paint. So 
All right, you can see how it's like contoured. It's like going from the one way, the other way, and then the other way again. I think that's gonna be awesome, especially in the neck joint right here, because that way there's less paint. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I decided I'm gonna go over this whole guitar with 2K clear coat, the uh, K Max uh, clear coat glamour um, with the hardware in it, and it'll make all this perfect. And then I could even go to sand it. So. Kind of like uh, what uh, he does on Guitar Guts on Trash to Thrash, Mark Murray. He does similar when he does his paints. He does the 2K clear coat over it and then he sands. And then he actually puts, you know, with 600 grit, I think, or 800 grit. And then he actually puts another layer of 2K. So he puts two, actually two cans. And I might do that on this guitar. I'm not sure yet, but definitely one can. But all right, and we'll see in a little bit. Alright, how's everybody doing? Another quick update. I got the back taped off. How I want it. <laughs> That's gonna be very, very cool. I got the stripes. Uh, the way I like it with the yellow. You know, all the black parts. You know, of course, it's gonna be yellow and it's pretty painted yellow, but yeah, I tried to match that one. And I think it turned out pretty cool. It's gonna look awesome. I'm gonna go compare it to the body and make sure that the lines kind of line up and they look similar and it's pretty cool and then we're gonna go outside and we're gonna put some yellow paint it's a very sunny day today on this Saturday morning it's about 10 30 like I said before on June 4th 2022 and uh, all right let's see how this goes fingers crossed we can walk we'll see you on the other side all right let's see in a little bit all right we're outside checking for any dust or lint or any little things from the tape or from anything else and we got the good old gloss sun yellow paint and I think we're ready to put a few coats on there and see how it turns out all right look got a little bit of a hair looking thing there all right let me go through it and put some paint and we'll see you in a sec all right base coats are completed <laughs> let this cure uh, flash off for a couple more minutes and then time to peel off the tape. Hopefully I get some good straight lines this time. So Alright, fingers crossed. It's a little bit warm out here. Hopefully the humidity didn't mess with the paint too much. So but it looks like it laid on pretty good. There's not too many hairs or anything like that or a little dust lint or anything. So alright, fingers crossed. Let me get some of this tape off. We'll see in a little bit. Alright, another quick update. Got all the tape off and it is looking awesome. Oh yeah. Lines are a little bit better than they were last time. Still gonna have to touch up, you know, here and there. But I can make that razor sharp with the black. So I'll come back and touch that up after it dries. But yeah, see the effect of the fretboard. That's what I was going for. You see how it's got that effect. I think it's got the separated fretboard, which is really cool. And uh, all right, that <laughs> looks pretty killer. Uh, Again, the light, how it turned out. Yeah, looks pretty cool. And here's the paint from the other day. And I'll touch up all everything and make all the lines perfect and razor sharp. But yeah, that turned out pretty cool. And it matches up pretty good. And I like the fact that you know with the headstock, how it, you know, that transition right there. That is so awesome. It's gonna look so cool when it's on there. But all right. At the conclusion of this guitar today. I think I'm going to start working on the other Stratocaster guitar today too as well. Sand on that, maybe put a little base coat on that, but yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, let me put this back in the house and hope everybody's having a good day and we'll see you in a little bit. All right, it's another quick update on a Michael Sweet Striper Stratocaster electric guitar build. Yeah, it's looking pretty cool. There's the body and the neck together. As you know, the body's been drying for a while. Um, when all of it dries together, and all cures for about another three, four days, then I'm gonna go through and then touch up all the black bits, you know, all the black and make all the lines absolutely perfect. So it's gonna look cool. And also I need to put some yellow fret markers, side fret markers. So I'll do that with the, uh, with the yellow paint and I'll make little circles very carefully, dot little circles for the fret markers. So it'll look pretty cool. So yeah. All right, it's a Michael Sweet straight relaxed guitar. So, all right, and we'll 
we'll see you in a little bit. All right, hope everybody's having a good day. Talk to you later. All right, how's everybody doing this evening? All right, it's a quick update on the Michael Sweet of Stripers Strat electric guitar build. I touched up all the black parts and the yellow parts, and I added the side fret markers to the neck. And let's see if I could do this with one hand. Let me show you the progress of it. It looks awesome. Yeah, it turned out amazing. All right. Yeah, as you can see, I touched up all the uh, the bits and even touched up my, my logo because it had a few spots that the paint wasn't exactly, you know, the yellow paint kind of the taping. But yeah, it turned out good, as you can see. That is awesome. Still a little, still a little nervous. I just got finished painting the... Uh, golden sunset guitar and that turned out really nice and there's always a little bit of stress involved but uh as you can see i touched up all the parts so yeah it looks good so the 2k uh the, the 2k paint's coming tomorrow spray max i used the the glamour paint the 2k and that'll be here tomorrow and i'll put a clear coat on it probably in a day or two me let the uh, the touch up but as you can see all the paint I touched up all the lines so as you can see I'm getting a better light here <laughs> yeah it turned out amazing and I love all the different contours and all the different parts but yeah there's the Michael Sweet of Striper and it is looking too it is looking very sweet and I can't wait to put that one together as well because like I remember it, it's gonna have the uh, the flat black, uh, well, let me concentrate putting this back on the rack. You never know, I don't want to bump anything. It's going to have the flat black, there we go, perfect. Flat black pickguard, um, and I'm going to have the pickup that's going to be colored that same yellow. But real quick, just wanted to show you the Michael Sweet electric guitar build. So I'm going to wait for the paint to dry. And the neck for the Pac-Man guitar came in. And that's right, actually right in that package right there. So I'll be starting that. And I've got an exciting news. Uh, I was uh, using my stepdad's car and he has, you know, a handicap sticker. So we parked up front. And uh, you know what? I'm going to do a handicap symbol guitar. And I think it's going to be really cool. But anyway, we'll talk about that in a bit. Just a little tease with that. But uh, yeah, that's going to be one of the next builds. <laughs> actual blue and white handicap symbol with the neck coming out from the uh you know the center region <laughs> and so that's gonna be very interesting and i still have to work on that one yet that's the uh the the one that i drew up a while ago that's the ultraman guitar build right there so all right hope everybody's having a good night and we will see you in a little bit ah look at me i got the uh Got the orange, got the tang, got the tang on my hand, the tang color. Yeah, the orange. All right, we'll see everybody later. Good morning. How's everybody doing on this fine Tuesday morning? Here it's Tuesday, the 6th of June, 2022, and it's time to continue work on the Michael Sweet electric guitar. Okay, what the plan is today, I've got the 2K clear coat, the Spray Max paint. So I'm gonna be painting this complete neck the 2k clear coat minus the metal frets so i'm gonna tape up each individual fret and we'll see you when i get done okay we'll see you in a sec all right halfway there taping up the frets it's a slow tedious process but it's gonna be so worth it uh, when the 2k goes on and it's gonna just make this so bright and brilliant all right we'll see you in a little bit all right just a quick update i got all the frets taped off and they are looking sweet <laughs> Uh, Michael Sweet. Uh, um, anyway, so we're gonna go outside. We're gonna hang it. We're gonna blow it and get some tack cloth. Make sure there's no lint or any fuzz or anything like that. And we're gonna go with some 2K clear coat. All right. We'll see you in a little bit. Hey, how's everybody doing? Just a quick update on this awesome Tuesday afternoon. I finished the 2K paint on the body and the neck. I finished probably about an hour or two ago, so they're still drying. I don't want to even take it off the rack because I don't want to risk bumping it or accidentally doing something stupid. Uh, looks awesome. 2K paint always 
it just makes it look amazing. So just a quick update. Yeah, we're gonna let this cure. I'm gonna swing it around. Just wanna show you how awesome that turned out. Yeah, that is just amazing. So yeah, we're gonna let this cure for several days and then we're ready for assembly on this guitar. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how it, it definitely leveled. I put probably about five, six layers of clear the 2k spray max so definitely awesome so just a conclusion on today's progress on the michael sweet of striper stratocaster electric guitar build that's awesome and you can see the golden sunset guitar is looking amazing too finished the paint on that yesterday and we're letting that dry and i'll be doing some drawings tonight maybe Tampa Bay Lightning is taking they're taking on the New York Rangers and me being in Florida I'm a huge Tampa Bay fan and uh, NHL hockey is always my favorite sport being from I'm from Michigan originally so but yeah but everybody has a good night and we will see you all soon all right take it easy